Welcome back. If I'd filmed like two seconds <laughs> earlier, you would have heard me scream. Blimmin' mouse that lives in the barn. It's probably more than one, but we call it one. Oh, I just moved something and he went running out, like flat out past me. I don't like them. I don't like them. So today I thought I'd um, tell you what our plans are for this barn because when we did the barn makeover, we didn't have this gate here. It was just all open. And so what our plan is, a friend of ours helped us, we've put this gate that we had around the back up here to partition off. And because we've got such a good area here, today we're gonna clear it out. Um, the covers will have to stay there for now, but we are going to take, we'll take all the pellets out, which is where the mouse is, um, and make this area empty, and then put some tie-ups in it so that we can bring the ponies in somewhere nice and dry and tie them up in winter when it's like shelter today, like today because it's so windy. But also we're going to set it up. We're going to put um, a gate across from. <laughs> Nika be the gate. The gate's gonna go from here. Oh, oh. <laughs> Why is it so slippery? <laughs> oh. it must be your shoes. The gate's gonna go from here to <laughs> that post. And it'll just be a half gate. It won't be a full one like this big one behind us. And then we're also gonna get a gate to go across the door. <laughs> so uh, it's really hard to put my finger in it from here to there and the roller door will still come down roller so <laughs> yeah so then yeah we've got a uh, basically a huge stable and so the plan is it's sort of stuffed it up a little bit with lockdown because we can't get some of the stuff um yeah the plan is to get shavings and stuff and put in here and just have it as a place that we can bring mama because she's really old and um and sugarfoot because he's old as well or just somewhere where sick ponies can come um or the horses it's big enough it's it's you know it's plenty big enough to have even Maisie in here if she needs to be in here for some stall rest or something so I'm quite excited about doing it really <laughs> to properly fold a horse cover. So the first thing you do, you want it laid out nice and flat on its side. And then next you want to tuck the surcingles in. So they're not flapping around. Go, and then the bum flap. Fold it in. And then if you have a neck cover, you fold the neck in. So now it's like a big rectangle and then you fold this side into the center this and then the other side into the center make sure the bum straps tucked in 
to the center. And then you fold it over again, like this. And then you fold it up. There we go. Then on there. This. And now it is nice and neat and compact for storing. of the covers so you can see where I didn't see spiders lovely and neat that is after seeing a spider this is after seeing a spider this one's lovely underneath that's lovely underneath achieved today. Happy little ponies in here tied up having their feeds. No one else can steal them because they're on special diets. So it's great. Yeah. All done. Can't wait to put the gates up and then get shavings and put them down. But yeah. Mama, you want to go back to the yard? <laughs>